back to Black Sight tonight, we're going to talk about Phoenix Mercury announcer Cindy Brunson going off on Caitlin Clark on X. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. Cindy Brunson has been going off all day on X over Caitlin Clark. She is close friends to Cheryl Swoops. She wants the Indiana Fever to apologize for Caitlin Clark doing absolutely nothing. She feels as though that Caitlin Clark's fans are racist, they're hateful, because of them defending their player, Caitlin Clark, who's been attacked ever since she was drafted day one by the Indiana Fever, by the woke media, by women in the WNBA, by past WNBA players, and to see that this woman has gone all the way through the fire and still won Rookie of the Year, still got Indiana in the playoffs, and all of a sudden, out of the blue, the Phoenix Mercury announcer, who should be fired because she's part of the WNBA and representing the WNBA, is going off against a woman, Caitlin, that possibly doesn't even know her. Hasn't had a conversation with her. Hasn't said anything about her. She hasn't said anything about anything but other than trying to uplift the NBA. She goes on and says the WNBA was all right. The only thing they needed was promotion. She goes in on Caitlin Clark all day long in her fans. We have an actual announcer of a team, a rival team, arguing with fans of Caitlin Clark on X. And the WNBA commissioner is doing nothing about this or telling the team that you must fire this woman as quickly as possible. This woman has bought more views, more money than anybody else in the WNBA history. Charles Barkley said, these women in the WNBA are actually trying to uh, destroy what God has sent them to help this league grow. <coughs> I don't understand what the hell is wrong with these women. The jealousy is out of control. It is blatantly out of control. These women have the animus all the way from Becky Hammond and Chris, uh, um, uh, Chris Reeve, the coach of the Minnesota uh, Lynx, and other people in the WNBA has this hatred for a woman simply because she's white, she's heterosexual, and they don't believe she represents the woke agenda. Let's get it out there. This is what it's all about. If she was black, you think she would be being treated this way? Because she's loved by a multitude of millions and possibly billions of fans, they can't take it. She's sitting over there talking about Cheryl Whoops. Yeah, we know she's she's won an NBA, WNBA championships. She's won gold medals in the Olympics. She's a Hall of Fame. Yeah, so what, what we supposed to worship her at 50 instead of worshiping, worshiping the woman who's actually playing the game? and who is actually taking the lead to a whole different level, putting eyes on this lead that nobody has ever seen? <coughs> and you're still mad? What's wrong with you? You telling me these women sit down all day in this hate for Caitlin Clark. It is absolutely destructive to the lead. And I'm telling you, this Caitlin Clark deranger sy syndrome I'm talking about, I believe about 75% of the league has it. And yes, Cindy Brunson should be fine, but she's actually saying what a lot of them believe. Let's say that. Okay? Because if she worked for the Indiana Fever, her mouth wouldn't be running like that. And no, the Indiana Fever is not apologizing. No, Caitlin Clark is not apologizing. No, Caitlin Clark fans. Did you think Stephen A. Smith Shannon Sharp, Charles Barkley, LeBron James, you think any of them are going to apologize? Nah, it's never going to happen. 
Cindy Brunson wants to get her spotlight, her daylight, her viral moment. You got your little moment. Go there. Go ahead and sit your ass down and do the Phoenix Mercury's game. Because what you're doing is destructive, not productive for the WNBA. I would love to hear your comments in the comments section. I want to thank you for listening to Black Side Sports. Hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.